Hey, it's Julian. It is August 3rd, and I just took my 24th tee shot, so I'm five months, five, five and three quarter months on tee. Um, just a few updates. So I should probably do a little more research before I speak to you guys. I mean, this is just kind of a blog, but, um, so, like, I've actually looked a little more into the name change and gender change stuff, and, like, I think when I saw the documents with the instructions, it looked overwhelming from like a bird's eye view and just thinking of the steps. But now that I've actually started printing stuff out and filling out some forms, it's not horrible. Again, I would say getting married and changing your name that way on the marriage license is probably easier. <laughs> but because here it's like, so you've got to fill out a form to bring to, uh, to court. Um, let's see. Like, um, some form of identification, a proof of identification, you have to pay for it. At least in my state, to change your name is $150. I don't know if it's just, like, paying people to do the labor to, like, file things and... I don't know. It seems like a lot. I mean, plus, like, if it's, like, essential, like, you're transgender, I don't think it should be as much where... Whereas some people just, like change their name for fun. Like, one of my friends, like, her brother did it just because he felt like it. So, yeah, I think he should have to pay and not me. Um, but then it's like you also, you have to fill out a form to file with um, Social Security to get, like, a new card. You have to file one with the DMV. Um, and there's also a separate form that you send to the court with for a gender change and you need something signed by your physician affirming that and then you also need them to write up a letter for you to get a new passport um and gender change costs an additional forty dollars uh wonderful but i guess so the document i had looked at was what someone who went through this like made and I think they said they kind of bundled all of that together to bring to the court. And then they, of course, change your birth certificate, too. Oh, that's another thing you need. You need a certified copy of your birth certificate for both, like, transactions. So, I mean, it's it's not horrible. It takes some a little bit of research, a little bit of planning, money. Um, yeah, sorry to hype it up so much last time. It's... It could be worse. Um, what else? Uh, another thing is, like, I just swear, like, the world just runs on assumptions. Like, I just, like, not a day goes by, almost, unless I just stay in my house and don't leave, that, like, I'm misgendered. Like, I mean, I kind of get it, too, because I looked at pictures, like, of me from, like, yesterday or something, and, like, I, I do look super feminine. Um, yeah, so I don't know. I'm still getting the male face shape, but I'm not quite there yet. Um, yeah, so that's just really um, irritating. And it just, like, made me, it just gives me so much sympathy for people who are trans, but, like, can't afford, like, you know, testosterone or estrogen or whatever, like, like, I just remember there's this one trans woman I saw on TikTok who wasn't even, well, I mean, she wasn't even female, female presenting because her parents were, like, not accepting, so that was really sad to see. But, I mean, if you are allowed to kind of transition in what you wear and be more male or female presenting in those choices, like, those exterior choices, um, that's better. But, like, I just, I don't know. It's like, I'm misgendered enough, and I'm taking testosterone and, but I know this will pass once I get far enough along, but it's like, I just can't imagine never being able to go further along, because it's miserable. And I know some people put pins with their pronouns on their shirt. Like, maybe I should do that. I'm, like, considering it. It just seems so obvious to me. But again, maybe I need obvious, because people aren't getting this. And one thing one of my friends suggested is that every time someone misgenders me, even, like, some random person out in public they'll never see again, I should correct them because 
that's what shows people that they need to not assume someone's gender. Um, which, I mean, it makes a fair point, because if people are told all the time, like, don't assume, like, ask someone's pronouns, and then they're misgendering me, and I'm not doing anything, then they're not really seeing that issue, and seeing that they need to do that. But on the other hand, it's like, I don't know. Like, I know it's like we also have to rely on other, like, allies educating people. Like, I would prefer that, but I think this is also important, but it's just so hard, because it's like, I just want to get through my day. Like, I don't want to, like, because, I don't know, it feels like a little bit traumatic for me every time I have to correct someone, just because it's like, this whole experience didn't start out well. Like, this whole me coming out thing. Um, so, I don't know, it's just kind of like, I just want to get in here and get out. So. I don't know. Maybe the pin is the answer. I don't know. Um, oh, also, um, I don't think I have cysts on my vocal cords because they're doing much better. Um, but again, don't do what I do. Look up how to extend your vocal range post-testosterone. Don't, like, just push it and push it and push it because then you'll need to, like, take a break from speaking for, like, three or four days. So... Yeah, I think that's all there is for updates so far. Alright, thanks for watching.